my jaw is hurting. I'm trying to exercise it. Ow. I think you just bit your tongue. No, my tongue's fine. Double, double. <laughs> That's not a fupa. You don't fupa. even know what a fupa is. You think it's your stomach. It's your fat vagina area. The part that the pants cover. That's yeah. what it really is, but people think it's your stomach. But it's not, and I refuse to call my stomach a fupa. It's my tum. My tummy. Guess who's back? Yo, it, it is me, your girl, Jackie G. We are here, and the wind is attacking us, right, Christian? Oh my god, yes. It's, it's insane. Nothing will stay where it's at. We've had come up with some pretty good ideas. Christian has all the good ideas, and he's been in charge of taping down the tablecloth. Jackie's here. Hi. Rigo's here. Blur my face and voice change my voice, please. How are your fish tacos? They're pretty good. Jackie's making sales. Jackie's making sales. I am cold. <laughs> we just found out something. Yeah, someone wants a lot of vaginas. Yes. Like a hundred. A hundred. More than a hundred. She said that they were on the local news. <laughs> yeah, which means we gave someone clout. Oh. Hi, I'm Zachary. My name's Jeff. Oh my god, our generation, Jeff! What did you just do? Did you just do that? Yeah. Christian does that all the time. He said, my name Jeff. Where did you get that from? YouTube. Oh, Vine. How do you know about Vines? Vine is, Vine is dead. Vine is shut down. No, it isn't. Okay, by the way, go to loganpaul.com. <laughs> shut up! We don't... No! We don't like Logan Paul. Please ignore that. Something. You guys watch Jake Paul? No. no. What do you think about Jake Paul? Watch the fall of Jake Paul. That's what you think? Yeah, watch the fall of Jake Paul. Okay. That's how rude you'll know he is. Uh, He's a douche. So we're home. <laughs> the event was great. Really fun. I feel like that was one of the most funnest events that I've been to. But I haven't been to many because I've been away at school. And Becca's been taking over most of everything. Go Becca. <laughs> It's just life, go right? Best friend, go. <laughs> Rigo was on this side. Vanessa was on this side. Zane was over there, but we ended up all like talking anyway. During the night, like we had stuff going on online too. Orders on Etsy because it's like the holidays are here. We're getting messages from people that we had already done orders with. Someone had bought like a bunch of ornaments for their boutique a town in Ohio. She ended up messaging us tonight and saying that she needed more. Earlier, I think we, or I said, you know, like, oh wow, this lady wants a hundred more vagina ornaments after the big order that she had already placed. We were just wondering, like, what happened? What happened? We didn't want to ask, but she just ended up telling us anyway. Yeah, she said that something about media, a local media circus going on in her town. We did a little research. She posted pictures of the vagina ornaments, the vag ornaments, on her Instagram shop, on social media, whatever and people were commenting and saying these things. There was two sides. First of all, here's this picture on their um, Instagram. Super cute of the vagina ornaments we made, super cute. Town got a hold of this and I guess divided into two sides. We're just reading the comments and stuff, seeing how people are reacting to this thing that we made and are selling. <laughs> have been selling for, for a while. It's been more than a year, right? Oh yeah. Their tone of whatever they're saying is that it's offensive, it shouldn't be allowed, this shop should be shut down. If you have children, they should have to be ashamed of you. Like this felt <laughs> ornament that you made with your hands, like you designed it. It's just a thing that we made, we created, you know? Guess it represents so much more, sure. But like these people are getting so angry about it. And then there's good people responding with these awesome. A man said, wait for someone to get angry because there aren't different skin tones. This girl commented, actually there are different skin tones and pubic hair. Same girl said, I can totally understand why people are so afraid of vaginas. They do some really scary things like birthing your Lord and Savior. <laughs> No different than hanging balls on the back of one's truck. 
Duh. Here's the, the comment that kind of got me kind of upset. Me and Jackie have been talking for days that, you know, some people, they look at our things and they're like, huh, you know, and, and that's only some people, not all. But we started making these things that can be offensive. offensive. And now we're just so much more comfortable with our bodies, with ourselves, with our anatomy. With saying the word vagina. Honestly, it kind of still, I don't know, it's a little weird to me, but oh my god, I'm so much more comfortable with my own self than I was like before we started making all this stuff. I don't think two years ago or three years ago, I would have said the word vagina. We're just making this stuff because we love it. We love doing stuff with our hands and people love it too. So crazy that we're starting this conversation in a town that's hundreds of miles away from us it's happening. Like this conversation is happening because of a a product that we made it's amazing like it's so cool this i never thought anything like this would happen do you think anything like this would happen no i'm all for empowerment of women but this is just stupid how does this empower women i could be wrong so i may hung, hang a bunch of felt dicks around the house and see if it changes my mind how would he know what empowers women <laughs> What do you mean? Of course it empowers women. Even if he did want to go around his house and hang dicks around his house, like I wouldn't care. No one else would care. Open up a book. School, you open up a library book and you see a picture of a dick that someone's drawn on the book and you don't even think twice about it. You're just like, oh, there's a dick. Why that happens? does it matter that we're drawing vaginas, you know? Cause that's basically what we're doing. We're doodling this thing out of our brains in order to feel more comfortable with ourselves. Open our books in high school, in middle school, and there'd be like drawings of dicks. I never drew a vagina in high school, did you? Never, no? no. I honestly, I remember drawing dicks. Yeah. I do, why? Why was I drawing dicks? I didn't even know what a vagina looked like because I didn't even want to look at my own. It was like that was taboo or something. Exactly. There was something called the penis game. Everybody knows what this game is called. Like you and sit in a park and then you shout penis. Like 500 days of summer, anyone? Penis game? It's playing this penis game, but I couldn't say the word vagina because I was too scared. I couldn't go buy tampons because I was scared that someone would see me. I was buying the quiet pads, the ones that were made of fabric, so that people wouldn't hear me opening a pad in the restroom. This guy is saying that this vagina ornament, this representation of our body and our anatomy doesn't empower us? What do you mean? What do you mean? There's penises everywhere. That's why you're so comfortable with yours. And that's why you sit like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just wanted to come on here and document this because it's an event in our life. And it's happening real time. We just found out about this a couple of hours ago while we were working. Us working is us doing what we love. So it's awesome. First we were like, how should we react to this? Like, there's so many negative views about what we're making that was only for a split second though realize like this this is awesome like so many other people are commenting back someone commented and said we live in an age that makes me proud to be a woman not i cannot believe we are just okay with this in response to someone selling okay this. with this <laughs> With this. What do you mean, okay? <laughs> this little squishy, cute, little like floral <laughs> representation. It's <laughs> like on your body, just look down, girl, like you have one. What do you mean you're not okay I'm not with okay it? okay with this. <laughs> Who goes around and says, I am not this. <laughs> <laughs> this is drawing a lie. <laughs> I am not okay with this. This, no. No, no. Hey, this crosses no. the line. This no. crosses the line. This felt <laughs> bell. Mm. That pipeline that nobody wanted to build mm. busted. Oh yeah. And, and like spilled everyone, oil over dealing with the consequences. But this is something she can't deal with. That's not okay. This is not okay that somebody wants to buy this. You need to put that away. There are young people's eyes looking at that. <laughs> Don't you see what this is doing? This is poisoning our children's minds. But ma'am, we're poisoning the water. 
That's not my problem. Have they seen our vagina makeup bag? Like, what about our vagina stickers? Like, those are real. Said, you're right. How could we be just okay with this? We should be super happy with this. We should live in a time where we can openly talk about reproductive organs. Getting people talking about things helps spread knowledge and helps get people to take care of themselves. Which... Duh. I mean, I think it's a really respectful <laughs> response, and yeah, like, duh. So, we're going to make a bunch more mm -hmm. <laughs> vagina ornaments, and we're going to send them to Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> You're welcome. That's what happened tonight. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, subscribe. And check out our shop. We make cool stuff that offends people, even though it really shouldn't. Leave a comment down below telling us what you think about the whole situation because I want to know. Post new videos every week. Well, we try to. We'll see you next week. Sincerely. Sincerely. <laughs> Sincerely. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>